How's I doing? Rabbi Zach here. So the other day we uh, we went to the zoo. Love the zoo. Walking around, and we hear off in the distance a roar, a growl. And we see, oh, it's the tiger. Tiger usually, you know, not that active, sleeping. We get there, and it's pacing back and forth. We go up over the overlook. Take the kids up there. Everybody's watching the tiger pacing back and forth and growling. All the kids are so excited to see it. Except for my two and a half year old, who is terrified. Screaming, she won't go down. So scared, I try to explain to her, look, we're so high up. There's the glass, the tiger, he can't hurt us. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Well, none of it. No, down, down. Take her down. All the other kids enjoying, but she can't enjoy. She can't appreciate it. She doesn't see the glass. She doesn't see that she's safe. Wait for it. I began thinking, why am I not scared? Why are the older children not scared? A tiger? Scary. It could hurt me. Why are we scared? And the answer is obvious. Because it's a protective glass. This tiger can't hurt me. I can sit and watch happily because I'm safe. How many things in life are we scared of? Are we concerned about? We're worried. Maybe not always as a big tiger, a smaller one. Life is full of things that concern us and that worry us. If we try to create the protective glass, the doctors or our health, savings account, a job, friends, parents, a support team, Throughout our entire life, we are creating protective glass, protective enclosures to protect us from the tigers of our life. The Torah teaches us there is a protective glass. There is something that we could trust in that will allow us to not only live life happily, but live life without a fear or a concern of being hurt or attacked by our tigers. And that is Hashem. A beautiful trait called Bitachon. It's all about trusting in Hashem, believing that everything that Hashem does is ultimately for our best. If we really think about it, we'll find that all the other protective forces that we put in our life all have their limitations. Our doctors, they mean so well, they do so much. But ultimately, some things out of their control, out of their hands. Our bank accounts can be up. For all we know, tomorrow they can go down. Our friends sometimes have their limitations. They're not always available. Nothing that we have in our life is guaranteed. Nothing that is, except for God. We should understand and we should know that the true glass, the true protection that can guard us and save us and keep us safe from the tigers of our life is the one and only 